what's going on guys, Wingsman here and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial and today guys I'm gonna be showing you how to make this really cool and simple automatic nether portal useless machine. Why? Because I just thought it would be fun. If you guys are excited for that make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're new, we are on the road to 8000 subscribers so that would definitely help a lot and without any further ado let's get right into today's video. So here we have it, this is our automatic nether portal useless machine, it does exactly what you think it does, absolutely nothing. If you press this button the portal is going to turn on for a split second before being destroyed by lava. And of course this could only be used in creative since you don't have to stay for a few seconds in the portal like you do in survival. But other than that it's completely useless and really fun. I don't know why I like useless machines so much, I guess there's just something satisfying about them, making your redstone completely useless on purpose. It's a lot more fun than doing it on accident. Of course the rest of this is incredibly simple, we have two dispensers, one of which is filled with the flint and steel, and the other one with the lava bucket. When we press the button the first thing that's gonna happen is the one with the flint and steel is going to activate our nether portal. Just by having a piece of redstone dust powering a block next to the first dispenser. If you want you can take a screenshot of the redstone but it's really simple. We have two dispensers, one stone button, three redstone dust and one observer. We are just going to start off by making the standard size of the nether portal starting with the four block base. Go four blocks on either side. Do the same thing over here and finish it off with two blocks in the middle which is going to leave you with a 2x3 portal, the standard portal in Manila Minecraft. After that we are going to destroy it, have a couple of the temporary blocks over here, so we can put the dispensers facing towards our portal, and of course you can just cover the rest of the portal with the block for choice, I like to use the iron blocks since I'm dealing with redstone. Speaking of which, we are going to start off the redstone build with a button, one block above of the first dispenser on the obsidian. So we can put a block for choice which is going to be a full block next to the actual dispenser and have a piece of redstone dust. That way when we press the button the redstone is going to activate powering the block which is going to power the dispenser. After that have one additional block over here with the redstone dust and we are going to have an observer pointing towards it with the face so it can actually detect it. Having a full block behind the second dispenser and a piece of redstone dust on top of it completes our build. The first dispenser, the one on the left which is going to have the button on it, is going to have the flint and steel. And the one on the right is going to have the lava bucket and we can test it out. You can see if we press it it's going to activate for split second and then the lava is going to destroy it. So if you guys have enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you are new, it's completely free, it takes less than a second and helps the channel out tremendously since we are on the road to 8000 subscribers. If you think any of your friends would enjoy this type of content make sure to share it with them but as always I really hope you enjoyed, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one, peace out.